Welcome back for a Beatles Timeline Moment. A timeline of more than 100 years of facts and events, with notable songs and people in the history of the Beatles. Please subscribe to this channel, to stay informed with future historical Beatles Timeline Moments. Here comes the sun. Written by George Harrison, the Beatles first began recording Here Comes the Sun on July 7, 1969. It was released as an album track on the Abbey Road LP in the United Kingdom on September 26, 1969, then issued in the US five days later. Harrison wrote the song in early 1969, at the country house of his friend Eric Clapton. Harrison had chosen to play truant for the day, to avoid attending a meeting at the Beatles' Apple studio. The lyrics reflect his relief at the arrival of spring, and the temporary breather he was experiencing from the band's business affairs. Led by Harrison's acoustic guitar, the track features a synthesizer, which he had introduced to the band's sound after acquiring the instrument in California. Reflecting the continued influence of Indian classical music on Harrison's writing, the composition includes several timed signature changes. Harrison said Here Comes the Sun, was written at the time when Apple was starting to become like going to school, where they had to go to work, and learn how to be businessmen. Harrison thought it seems that winter in England goes on forever, by the time spring comes, you really deserve some time off. So, one day he decided he was going to sag off Apple, and went over to Eric Clapton's house. Harrison said the relief of not having to go see all those dopey accountants was wonderful. He walked around the garden with one of Eric's acoustic guitars, and wrote Here Comes the Sun. We would like for you to participate, for a Beatles discussion at our timeline website, the4beatles.com. There, you can share your thoughts and memories, with us and others, of more than 250 Beatles timeline topics. Again, please subscribe to this channel, to stay informed with future historical Beatles timeline moments.